All right, let's make sure the audio is up. One, two, one, two, yep. check, mic check, mic check, good. That's right. Hey, yo, gay boss, so it's your boy, Octagon Jones, and I'm here on MMA Island, joined by 12-2, and two, bantamweight rising star, virtuoso of violence, the Hadouken from Houston. He's finally arrived at 135. The division needed it, so he completed it. The tough bantamweight 29 winner, pretty Ricky Tercios. Ricky, how we doing, man? Hey, bro, hey, I'll be real, man. I never get tired of hearing that one, bro. The ultimate fighter champ, let's go, bro. No, I'm doing great, bro. For real, I'm just chilling. I'm really out here chopping it up, you know what I mean? So, hey, I'm happy, having a good day, you know. How are you? I'm I'm good, man. Firstly, um, so how does it feel? We're, we're talking about it already. So how does it feel now that it's set in? You've had, you know, a month or two to let it course through your system, but you're now in the UFC. You've made a, um, you know, a splash with the fans, and you ended up winning – the toughest competition in sports. What are you feeling right now? Yeah, you know, like uh, like you said, won the toughest competition in sports as far as like, you know, that happening a couple of weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for that, bro. I mean, etched myself in UFC history forever with with that 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 per- those performances on the on the show alone like that. You know what I mean? Uh, it's like it was like a whole movie. The Ultimate Fighter was, you know what I'm saying? So, man, I was happy about that. You know what I mean? Um, that it was. happened in, for sure, bro. And uh, pretty solid. And then. Uh, you know, now as I go into the near future, man, how I'd be thinking now is like, hey, I know the, the next fights are going to be freaking crazy, bro. So I, I'm locked in, baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was cool winning the show. Like I said, I'm thankful I made history. You know what I'm saying? But, man, these challenges now, they're going to be even tougher now on the horizon. So I've got to stay locked in, bro, and just keep keep developing my game plan, keep strengthening my strategies. You know what I'm saying? And keep getting stronger day by day. You know what I mean? Until the next battle. Let's go. Absolutely, man. And, and that's awesome to hear as a, as a fan, like a mi- keeping locked in with the mindset, like that's something really promising to hear for us. So appreciate it. Something that I uh, just a broad question I want to ask you, what inspires you, Ricky? Because you're very young in your UFC career. You just started yet. You're already inspiring a lot of people. So what inspires pretty Ricky Tercios, the Hadouken? Yeah, well, on, on one, on I'll, I'll name a couple, like right there, what you said right there, that You know, I'd be inspiring, you know, people through the TV and everything like that. That's one of the things that inspires me. The fans, you know what I mean? My people, my friends and my family and my students, you know, and to be out here giving it my best every single day, training and teaching, you know what I'm saying? Applying myself, not just in my martial arts life, but applying myself as well, just in my daily life, you know what I mean? Being focused, you know what I'm saying? And uh, living by the good example, obviously me being a a professional mixed martial artist, fighting at the highest level uh, in the UFC, people, they're always going to be watching you on TV and everything like that. And people are going to be looking up to you, you know what I mean? So for sure, uh, my family, my friends, and uh, the fans, they inspire me deeply, deep into my core. You know what I mean? The other thing that inspires me as well, bro, this is it. I'm living the martial arts life day in and day out, bro. And the challenges that are coming in the future here at the highest level in the UFC, they're only going to be tougher, bro. So that's what that's what uh, inspires me more than anything, too, man, that I got to conquer these new challenges on the horizon, bro. So that keeps me sharp as I continue my training uh, day in and day out, you know? Absolutely, man. That's awesome. So. Thanks. I found it awesome to hear that you participated in theater arts growing up. I did as well, and I went to school for acting. So having things to bond with or bond over with your favorite fighters is something that's really special. So I just want to thank you again for for joining me. Um, You've mentioned that you are ready to go and dive into the world of entertainment and performance already. Uh, MMA comedy, you want the big screen, but do you think you're going to dive into some MMA podcasting? Are you going to have your own show? We can make something happen. I'm just saying. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, I, hey, you got the, you got the ideas, G. Yeah. The, all, all those ideas, like you're saying, like the podcasting, the YouTubing, those are, uh, those are all great ideas like this, you know, and uh, I've been working on it. I've been, I've already been putting the content uh, together, like, uh, like uh, behind the scenes, you know what I mean? So whenever I choose to release everything all onto the internet, you know what I mean? Uh, hopefully it'll be cool. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure it will be. You know what I mean? Plus, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just having fun, enjoying myself as I'm doing it too. You know what I mean? Me, me and my people. You know what I mean? Uh, so whenever those little things come out, it's gonna be solid. Watch. Absolutely, man. You're gonna be beaming on the screen. I'm already, I'm already waiting for it. Um, yeah, I appreciate it, bro. So, you sang Leonard Skinner to end your press conference. Um, you remember that, right? I'm sure. Oh, of course, I did. I did, so, man. I, I had practiced this so much in my mind. 
So I, I was wondering if we could get a deeper look into your music taste since we're already talking about the arts. Um, like what what are you listening to recently? What's what's in what was in those headphones earlier? Uh, yeah, you know, great question. You know, truthfully, as I be, uh, you know, in my uh, in my in my vibe, most of the time with the music, you know, I guess I would say like I have a mixed mixed genre of music that I like to listen to. You know what I mean? I'm not. I would I wouldn't say I'm uh, too particular, I guess. But no, nah, I mean, I guess I, I'll be jamming more more hip hop music. You know, I like I like rock music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'll be putting on some instrumentals. Here and there, you know, like, uh, I guess if you were talking about what's the vibe recently, you know what I mean? Like, when I be just chilling out, like, in the nighttime in, in my sessions, sometimes I just put some some chill, like, instrumentals with some beats on there in the ear when I do my meditation or whatever like that, you know what I mean? Maybe some, uh, some uh, like, some some Japanese uh, lo-fi hip-hop beats Oh, or like the like beats that. to study to with the girl in uh, the... Like... Yes, exactly. Yeah, oh, I'm a, I'm a fan, you know what I mean? So sometimes maybe in the night, you know what I mean, I'm in my thoughts or something, maybe I'll put something like that and I'll chill out, you know what I mean? Or... Maybe maybe if I'm in that more crunk type of vibe, maybe I'll put some hip hop music or something like that. Depends on what depends on what time of the day it is. If I'm gonna be training or if I'm just kicking back, you know what I'm saying. So it'd be. But for sure, yeah. I've been jamming that lo-fi Japanese hip hop vibe instrumentals. You want to drop a recommendation for the people? I'll go listen to it afterwards too when I'm editing. Hmm, good question. Actually, here, uh, ask me again at the end of the video. I'll see what's right. up. You know what okay. I mean? I yeah. will. So. The genesis of your career so far has parallels to some of the great ones in the sports history already. The internet was buzzing when you came on the first episode of Tough, when you reminded them of some of the greats that came before you. Uh, one might say Diego jumped so Tony could run, so Ricky could fly. How does that inspire <laughs> you? How does that motivate Yeah, bro, it, it definitely motivates me a lot, you know what I mean? Um, like you said, Diego Sanchez, Grew up watching him as a young boy. Tony Ferguson, I grew up watching him as a young boy as well. You know what I mean? And uh, both fighters were great inspirations, you know, both of them, uh, both of them and many of the other great champions also that have came from the Ultimate Fighter show, you know. So uh, I'm thankful to be in a very exclusive club as a tough champion with them here in the beginning of my career. That's great. And I'm thankful. Right. And now, though, now is the next things that I do moving forward in my career. And that's another thing that inspires me, too, man. You know, so like I said, got to keep training, keep them hands up. You know what I'm saying? Work on them defenses, working on them attacks when I'm striking, working on that jujitsu always. That grappling is going down. You know what I mean? So it is the vibe, bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so <laughs> along the Diego jumps so Tony run or so Tony could run so Ricky could fly thing. Since we're already speaking of flying and since you're a fun loving and thought ma'am, I'm sorry. I've got a big it's dog. All, She's uh, all good, all good. Sorry. Anushka, ma'am, I'm talking to pretty Ricky Tercios, okay? Um so since you're thoughtful and so fun loving, I thought I'd ask you a kind of out there question. If you were transported to a different time in a different land i feel like i know the answer of what you're going to say but what would you rather be a knight a king a wizard or a dragon mm. <laughs> yeah what are you be? a knight a king a wizard she a messed dragon. up my transition i had it all like t i had it all perfect uh, wow up. no that's a great one hmm. yes. great question what am I gonna pick right here in this moment? Wow, that's a good one, man. Hmm. I guess right here at this moment, I'll pick. Uh, I'll I'll choose to be. Uh, I'll go. You know what I'll do? I'll choose to be a wizard. You know, and then. I'm dead. And then, you know, and then when I'm a wizard, I'll use my powers anyways to transform me into a dragon. Let's yeah. go. You know what I mean? So I'll Ricky pick. Tur I'll pick the wizard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes. Absolutely. That's that's the outside the box thinking that makes me a fan of you, man. Yeah, appreciate it, baby. Yeah. Back to a more professional note. Uh, what were you able to learn from your opponents in the tournament? Your fights with Daniel, Ludwig and Brady. Uh, were you able to take something from each of those guys individually? Because uh, it's clear that you were <laughs> thinking deeply about your experiences and time in there. So what did you take from each of those guys? Wow. Yeah, that's some good questions. Um, as a as accumulation, you know what I mean? Like from the entire three battles, you know what I mean, that happened. If I could, if I could put one, there was, if there was one thing I took big from that, those three fights was really just uh, digging deep into the heart. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just pushing through, through that adversity like that. Cause man, every single fight pretty much kind of just pushed me 
even harder and harder and harder beyond you know what i'm saying like and they were all unique in their own individual ways like for example like the dan fight it pushed me in the sense because i was down around we went to sudden victory etc cetera, etc cetera, and had to dig deep for that one but then maybe the ludwig fight that was a digging deep type of scenario too because there was a lot of blood and that was more of a stand-up war i've always wanted one of those so that was crazy but then the brady fight the pressure was on because it was the finale and brady had such a very um strong strong game plan and sunk such a strong attack that he was coming with so like pretty much like the accumulation of the pressure of that tournament you know what i'm saying tournament like i was just having to pretty much dig deep in every single one of those fights because it's not like i was getting like it wasn't first round knockouts uh those fights that had uh happened in that moment you know what i'm saying so yeah, like uh visions but they were they were all, like from the outside i'm sure you probably watched them back but those were scraps my guy yeah, 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 they were, bro. Like, um, re-watching them again from the beginning, uh, from, like, watching them through the whole season, you know what I'm saying? Like, living it, it was crazy. Rewatching it, it was crazy as well, you know what I mean? But for sure, in the moment of living it, that it, I definitely had to dig deep in those times. I was feeling nauseous, dang me, after every single one of the fights, you know what I'm saying? Probably the most nauseous I was feeling was, for sure, like, the Dan fight. That, I was like, it was crazy, you know The what first I mean? but, one uh, more so than the championship one? Yeah, I would say so. And it, and it's all just like whatever different type of scenarios that could be happening. Maybe like I ate something weird or maybe like, I don't know, maybe it was because it was the first banger or whatever. But I was feeling pretty solid after that. The Dan fight, I was feeling pretty nauseous. You know what I mean? Maybe because I got so nauseous in that one, I got more used to bloodbaths and more used to those wars. So I was just used to it and desensitized to it by the time I got to the second fight and to the finale fight. You know what I mean? But each one was an accumulation of just bangers, you know? So it made me tougher. That's what I learned from it too. It just made me tougher doing it at that level in the UFC octagon. So for sure, like, Hey, I'm, I'm thankful for the whole experience. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so we're going to wrap this up here, but is there any chance whatsoever that old Ricky's got some news for old octagon Jones, any, any upcoming, uh, you know, any, uh, you got a fight booked, anything interesting on the horizon for you? Anything I can, uh, tell mom about? Yeah, it's a good one. Anything mom about, huh? All right. Well, look, yeah, my, my next fight, that's a secret. I got to keep that one a secret, right? So I'm sorry. I I know, it's, going, it's okay. It's going, it's going to pop off. You know what I'm saying? But Hey, look between you and me then, bro. Hey, like, hey, y'all just be on the lookout on the YouTube because I got I got that content coming out real soon. OK, so I won't tell y'all what content is going to be. But, hey, I got I got it. I got to drop it. You know what I mean? So uh, I think I hope I hope that the, the MMA community, everybody on the Internet, hey, the Reddit community of oh, the people will appreciate the uh, the type of uh, artistic nature of what I'm going to bring to the table when I put some YouTube content. That's all that fun stuff. You know what I mean? But I know the real thing I'm waiting for man, it's going to be, it's going to be the real fights, bro. So I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to be happening in the, in the near future when I step back into that octagon again, bro, because for real, that octagon is, it's a, it's a dangerous place. You know what I mean? But we, as we, as martial artists, we enter into this dangerous place in search of the glory. You know what I mean? And with every time you step into that octagon, it's another opportunity to make history. You know what I'm saying? Another opportunity to get your hand raised, win a fight, make history, get paid, get them bonuses. And uh, those are those things that are inspiring me as I continue going forward in my UFC career. Bro, hey, there's no turning back now, bro. That's it, man. Let's Absolutely. go. You're, you already jumped in. You're in, the, you're in the deep water. That's it now. You're here yeah. to stay. Oh, yeah, bro. So let's go, bro. So for sure, you, you're bringing that good energy for sure. You know what I'm saying? And uh, hey, let's, let's just keep it rolling, baby. You know? Absolutely. Um, so let's let's get uh, your usernames out there for all your social media so people can go follow you before we start this amazing Ricky Tercios journey all over again in the UFC. Yeah, I appreciate it, G. Uh, it's going to be, you know, catch me my Instagram, Ricky Tercios, you know, and then on my other platforms, you feel me? My Twitter, Ricky Hadouken. My TikTok, Ricky Hadouken. On that Twitch, Ricky Hadouken. You know what I'm saying? And then on YouTube, y'all gonna be able to find me, Ricky Tercios. You know what I'm saying? Once I drop that, once I drop that first uh, piece that's coming out, you know what I mean? So it's gonna be good. My friend, I'm just thankful that you can come on with me. Um, you're you're already one of my favorites. As soon as I saw you, I was like, that's my guy. So I'm just beaming and grateful right now. Um, for all the viewers, I'm gonna give you a little quote from Ricky before I let him. Uh, you know, give his last positive message or whatever. I just want to say, dream big, 
work hard and stay positive. You know what I'm saying? Ricky, yeah. you have the last remarks? Oh, man, hey, no, hey, I appreciate it, baby. You know, hey, thanks for having me on the show, you know what I'm saying? And, hey, to the, to the fans and all the people watching, you know what I'm saying? I just say, hey, keep grinding, you know what I'm saying? That's the only – I say it to myself. I say it to my people, but, you know, that's the one, you know, we out here – Staying on that, staying on that regiment, you know, so it's cool, bro. For sure, dog. Well, I hope that we can do this again and maybe we can make this a regular thing. I've really much, I very much enjoyed talking to you. No, hey, it was a fun time for sure too, G. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you, Ricky. Have a good night. Have a good one too. Peace.